Welcome to Bearcats TV and the Olympic Sports Report for February 17, 2014. I'm Scott Waldrop. The women's basketball team earned a dramatic road victory at Temple on Saturday with a 55-53 final. The team shot 72% from the field in the second half and Alicia Lovett scored a career-high 20 points in the victory. Head coach Jamel Elliott was proud of her team coming back for the victory after an unsuccessful first half. Love it. You know, she was able to get us in our offense. She was able to score for us. And she was just that emotional leader out there. Um, you know, Janice Randolph did, did what she normally do. Kayla Cook stepped up and had a really good game today, which, you know, she hadn't had in a while. So, you know, this was a good team effort. And we've gone through a lot this year with injuries and, and different things. And, and, and it, for some reason, you know, we've still been able to have hard and we've still been able to play hard and have a good attitude. And I just can't say enough about how happy I am for these guys because, you know, they, they didn't stop believing. Up next for the team is a home game at Fifth Third Arena on Wednesday night at 7 against USF. And the team will head back on the road this weekend for a road game on Saturday at UCF with a 4 p.m. tip-off. The track and field teams had another strong performance in Indiana over the weekend with seven personal best times on Friday and six top eight finishes on Saturday. Head coach Susan Seaton is proud of the team's progress that they have made right before they compete in the American Conference Championships next week. Yeah, this past weekend we actually had a number of PRs and we also made some good strides with some season best, so we were pretty excited about the meet. Uh, we had uh, Erica Hurd again performing really well in the high jump and our pole vaulters did a pretty good job uh, getting some top five finishes there. Uh, we also had a person get two PRs, uh, Jessica Marriott was able to get two personal bests, uh, one in the shot put and one in the retro and that placed her in the top eight in both events, so that was exciting. And uh, we also had some of our sprinters run pretty well and get seasonal bests uh, in their events. So overall, pretty good weekend as a tune-up for conference championship. The men's and women's golf teams open their spring season today. The men's team competes at the Rice Intercollegiate in Houston, while the women's team competes at the Amelia Island Intercollegiate in Florida. Check GoBearCats.com for all of the golf results. The swimming and diving teams will travel to Louisville this weekend to compete in the American Athletic Conference Championships. Head coach Monty Hopkins feels his team is well prepared for a strong weekend. Uh, you know, anytime you go into a big meet, you got people that are seated well off of in-season times, and you have people that maybe aren't. And we're always looking for that person that maybe didn't do anything special during the season to come up and score points. Uh, of course, we hope our high-seated people will perform as expected and, and you know final and compete for the medals and and then we hope to have a few surprises and I think you know we've seen enough in training that we should have some people that are able to um, uh, really kind of to, to go crazy and swim really fast at a championship meet and that's what it's all about. The baseball team will travel to North Carolina for a three-day tournament at Wake Forest this weekend. The Bearcats will take on Wake Forest, Radford, and Missouri during the course of the three-day event. Tennis team returns home for two matches this weekend. They will host Bowling Green on Saturday and will host conference opponent Rutgers on Sunday where it will also be Senior Day. All the tennis results can be found on GoBearcats.com. This has been the Olympic Sports Report for February 17th. I'm Scott Waldrop. We'll see you next week right here on Bearcats TV.